All right, so day 47 is in the books. What a day. Um, I actually had four games. I won three games. I lost one game, but it's so painful the way I lost that game that uh, it's going to take me some time to um, to get over that loss. So let's start with the first game. Let's see what I messed up and then let's go through all the games. I'll probably spend a little extra time on the last one, but all right. So the first game was against um, uh, a Nigerian player and I think he resigned early, yeah, so there is not much to see here. Um, yeah, there is not much to see, honestly. Uh, he, he resigned or disconnected, this is what it is. So game two, game two was a little bit more interesting. So let's take a look at the... Um, Statistics, 92% accuracy, one inaccuracy, so not too bad, not too bad. So uh, as always, I started with a Vienna. I'm actually working on the, yeah, on the Vienna opening and its main variations. Here, I thought, uh, actually, let's activate it. All right, so best move is to push d4. Great, that forces back the knight, and then I can attack the knight. Goes back, and I deploy the other one. And here, best move would be to lock the um, the opponent's knight on c6 but i went short uh, actually let's see i went for the second best move so right here i thought maybe I can do something with this square and a castle he took I took this was probably his biggest mistake. I took and yeah then it was game over. I think he missed that. Uh so I'm actually very happy with this game. I think the opening was uh, was executed quite decently. Um getting the, the, the general idea of the Vienna the Vienna Gambit or the Vienna opening, at least this variation, so I'm very happy with how the game went. Yeah, game three. So game three, here we have a 79% accuracy, one blunder, two mistakes, one inaccuracy. So let's take a look at the game. Again, I, uh, I'm working on, on the Vienna opening. So I'll, when I'm white, I'll probably always play the Vienna, try the different variations. Try to get a solid um, understanding of the main variations. Um, here I was a little bit confused, didn't know how to react. So yeah, I took actually it would be interesting to see what's the best move here. Uh, the best move is actually to push another pawn. Okay, so uh huh. So you push a pawn, second move is you take, but that's zero, 0, 0. So, and then here we have best move would have been to basically stop that pawn. Second move, F3, but that's a, another move that is, that doesn't move the needle. And I think, uh, I was too focused on, on castling. Uh, actually, maybe the third move. No, fourth move is um, the bishop. But that's another zero, zero. So that means I still don't move the needle in my direction. Then I, I castle, which was the best one. And only then I think, oh no, I didn't push the pawn. I did not push that pawn. Okay, never mind. I thought I did. Here I went for um, a trade, I guess. 
Yes, because I didn't like this formation with two bishops and one knight right there in the center. Felt, they felt very powerful. Um, okay, so my whole approach was not exactly... Yeah, not exactly good because... Uh, Stockfish is telling me I should push the bonds open a little bit uh, my position in the back that was an inaccuracy actually a mistake would have been better to move the rook for oh man yeah there is a pin um, yeah I mean I don't know about the, the, the continuation, but for sure the pin was already there. So yeah, that was a good idea. I eventually got to that position um, because my opponent decided to attack the bishop first. However, here the my opponent found a beautiful way to defend. Um, Oh, look at that. Instead of instead of moving the bishop away, I could have pushed the pawn and then I guess the rook. Yeah. I don't know. Got uh, different ideas. Yeah, this is a blunder. It was better to push that pawn and then eventually yeah push the the rook forward. Okay. Okay. So castle d4 eventually I arrived with the, the move but yeah, it's a little bit late maybe. Here the bishop, ooh, that's a best move. Uh, bishop back, that's also the best move. That's an inaccuracy. Mm -hmm. Was better, oh, was better to get in. Interesting, yeah, of course, of course. You get in and it's, Kind of tricky for my for for me in this case to push you out. Um, that is that is good to know. Whenever I am in the opposite situation, so don't re don't get don't go backward, go forward. Mm. Yeah. Um, look at that that's another brilliant move I had this idea of like this and this eventually so of course the, the queen had to be here but by putting the rook there I could have prevented this rook from going down and so so yeah the attack would have been a lot easier of course many things have to happen in order to uh, to put the rook there and be able to execute the attack but the general idea was very interesting um, that's a mistake okay I should have pushed that take <laughs> just like that why is no one taking that bishop in the... I don't understand I don't understand stockfish sometimes um, I mean here I mean it makes more sense to take if he takes you take back 
or and if he takes with anything, I mean it's it's one pawn less and one bishop less. Mm. I'm I'm still a beginner. I don't I don't fully understand um, the way Stockfish thinks. Anyway, let's go back to the game. So that was my inaccuracy. Then there is uh, an inaccuracy from uh, my opponent. And then I push this because I was going for the corner. And then there is a blunder from my opponent. Yes. And I took. And he either resigned or he disconnected. So that was game three. Lots of interesting uh, ideas, like for example, the rook there to prevent this rook. I like it. All in all, I think uh, not too bad, not too bad. And then came game four. <sighs> painful, painful. So 77% accuracy, six blunders, three mistakes, three inaccuracies. Um, and by the way, my opponent had four blunders and 81% accuracy. So yeah, also not a perfect game, but definitely his position, I think, um, put me in a very difficult uh, situation right from the beginning. So here it is, I decided to go for uh, Vienna as always. Uh, and then I, I really know how to continue from here with the two knights. I still have to study that uh, position. Mm, that was an hybrid gambit version. I thought it was a good idea to take. And after this, yeah, definitely not. So let's see what would have been a good move from here oh, it's actually a good move to take well, the best move to take but then he takes and i have to run away which is what i did um best move to push d4 which is what i did but and here very interesting so here the best move would be to move uh, to move the the knight in front of in front of the queen and the king so that I can also defend that this defends that and if it's here it defends that it's such a beautiful position yeah I didn't think about that I went up that's a blunder mm. Oh, and also, also this is a side effect. You have this space for the rook when you castle. Wow. <laughs> amazing. The way Stockfish plays, amazing. So... Yeah. Here, the best move for black was to take and I actually thought if he takes and I take then he can move the knight here and there is like a beautiful fork yeah so it's good to know that if one day I end up in that situation um, so he castle I took actually the best move would be to take so the best move is to take the bishop, 6.4 and, and then he decided to do that, oh man. Now, now I should castle in the open. So dangerous. So if he, if I castle, he put there the knight, queen, rook, uh, 
uh, you push forward the, the pawn to attack the the knight that would be a very tense situation um, yeah but I would have uh, saved myself from the check which is exactly what happened and here basically I felt like the game was gone but uh, How is pushing forward the best move? Okay, okay, okay. I just thought, um, he can get my queen, but yeah, that's a good point. Uh, take oh that's a that's a square that I didn't think about it yeah you go here yeah yeah let's check but you have time maybe to move the other pieces because mm. you cannot go there there is this yeah I should have at least moved the king on the second rank. Yeah, I instead I left there. No good reason. Here comes another blunder. Best would have been to move it back. That's a mistake. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Actually, this was so stupid because you take this check. The rook is gone. I have to move the, the, the king and he can take the queen. I mean, I really just played so bad. But wait, wait a minute because the worst is yet to come. Okay, so he took that and took that. Here, I, I really didn't want to go down, but I can see that that was the move. And ended up going down. Um, I just wanted to make some space for my king. And here, I just thought, okay, let's trade queens. And let's see if I can survive with the rooks. Um, there is only one problem. He can deliver a check and take the queen before I can take the queen. That was so stupid. Yeah, that was so stupid. So, yeah. Uh, and I lost on time, but I mean the game was 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 over. Um, painful, painful. I think that the 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 hardest thing is that um, aside from a few mistakes here and there, that uh, th these are just this is just my level, so I cannot I cannot really improve them overnight. What I can do is definitely. Um, think about this type of mistakes and try not to repeat them it's um yeah it's crazy how i just miscalculated and if i look at the games that i lost in the last uh, week or so there are there are a number of these moves where i just um 
just thought, oh yeah, this exchange is gonna it's gonna go well, and then it just doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah, that's exactly what happened today. Probably um, in the future, I maybe need to draw the lines. You know, just draw the lines. Say, okay, I go, I do this, um, and then he has to move, and when he moves, oh, he can move here. Maybe that can help. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that that could be a a, a way to to avoid this type of mistakes. Yeah, so here you have it. That was game four, a very painful game uh, that still highlights how I need to improve my calculations. I will work on that in the next uh, in the next days and weeks. And by the way, thanks uh, for all the comments, all the suggestions and tips that you leave me in the in the comment section. Uh, I just ask you that whenever you're like commenting on something, if you can just leave the timestamp, that would really, really help me uh, to better understand your comment and the context of your comment. Uh, yeah, having said that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you tomorrow for more chess.